Hey all, and welcome to another video of TechCat. Today we're looking at the Dell Precision M4800. See if it's any good in 2023. This Dell is rocking a Core i7 4810MQ, 32GB of DDR3 memory, 500GB Samsung SSD and a Quadro K1100. I was able to pick this Dell up for 165 euros. For today's standards the touchpad is quite small and the laptop is very very heavy with almost 3 kilos. It's really not a nice portable laptop to bring with you. A very thick laptop as well. As you can see, holding my finger close to it, it's a lot taller than my finger even. The I.O. on this laptop is nice. On the right side, you have two USB 3 ports and a display port. And on the back, wired Ethernet, VGA, eSATA and HDMI. And on the left, you will see a DVD drive, a card reader, two jack connections and two more times USB 3. Now to really test the laptop, we're doing a fresh install of Windows 10 and we're gonna run Atlas OS over that, making it a, a more powerful version of Windows and well, removed all bloatware. Actually really, really nice for gaming as well. Here you can see I'm running the wizard for Atlas OS. It's something that you run once you have already installed Windows 10. Previously they used to distribute an ISO, but to be well legal, they're now distributing an AME wizard that will actually help you and it will run a playbook over Windows to convert all settings and set all correctly. I had to spe speed up this process quite a bit because it takes a long time, but well, I will just walk you through it. Now that the wizard is done, you can see that just even clicking through the OS is already a lot snappier. It just uh, makes it a lot quicker experience or a lot smoother, I would say. So then it's time to test out some games. Now we're starting with the game Fortnite. It's actually running quite okay with some dips as well, but there were some bugs stating about driver for the, the graphics card. I have no idea why, because I'm running the latest version, but it seems that there is a bug, so maybe the drops are coming from there. Overall, the experience is decent, you can get some kills and you can indeed play, but uh, yeah, it, it is not 60 frames per second all over or even more, so that's a, well, that's a shame, but for such an old laptop, I think it did quite okay. The bad gameplay is not because of the laptop, that's purely me, so uh, I hope you enjoy it. Moving on to Counter-Strike GO, I'm running a free-for-all match in which uh, I can get a kill, but most of the time I'm just being killed. Uh, overall the game is running quite smooth and running everything at medium settings on the well the native resolution which is full hd and it's actually running quite okay i'm not good at the game but uh, it was a quite an enjoyable experience i must be honest Unfortunately, the overlay for showing the FPS didn't work in this game, and uh, well, for that reason, you can't really see. But I would, I would guess that the frame rate is around 40 to 50 frames per second. Well, and there you go. That was my review of the Dell M4800. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like, maybe a subscribe and see you hopefully in the next video.